لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك Hajat Tamatto In this episode, we will focus in a bit more detail on performing the obligatory acts of the second part of Hajj, which is Hajj at Tamatto. It has already been stated in episode 2 that there are 13 obligations in this part of Hajj. These will now be dealt with in some detail. Act 1. Wearing Ihram Once again, the pilgrim has to wear Ihram. The best time for wearing Ihram for Hajj at is the 8th of Zil Hijjah. It is obligatory to wear Ihram in Makkah. Rules to be observed when wearing ihram. 1. Saying the intention. I am putting on the ihram for Hajj Tamatto to seek nearness to the Almighty Allah. 2. Wearing of the ihram garments. 3. Reciting Talbiya. Act 2. Staying in Arafah. This is the second obligatory act of Hajj Tamatto. Arafah is situated about 20 kilometers, 12 miles away from Makkah. Staying in Arafah on the 9th of Dhul Hijjah from the time of Al-Dhuhr until after sunset Al-Maghrib. It is recommended for the pilgrim to spend the night and day in remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing tasbih, astaghfar, reciting Quran, reciting ziyarah of Imam Hussein, and reciting dua Arafah. Act 3. Staying in Muzdalifah. The third obligatory act of Hajj Tamatto is staying at Muzdalifah, which is also known as Mashar al-Haram. Muzdalifa is one of the four important places related to Hajj. It is situated between Arafah and Makkah. When a pilgrim leaves Arafah, he must spend part of the night in Muzdalifa. He should, as a matter of precaution, stay till sunrise. Rules to be observed when staying in Muzdalifa. 1. Saying the intention. I will spend this night in Mashar al-Haram for Hajj Tamatto to seek nearness to the Almighty Allah. 2. Staying should be during a part of the night till sunrise on the day of Eid al-Adha. In Muzdalifa, it is recommended for the pilgrim to collect stones to throw at the pillars when they are in Mina. It is better for the pilgrim to spend the night in remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing tasbi, astaghfar, reciting Quran and reciting ziyara. Act 4. Throwing stones at Jamarat al-Aqaba. This is the fourth obligatory act of Hajj al on the day of the sacrifice. When a pilgrim departs from Muzdalifa, it is obligatory to proceed to Mina to stone Jamarat al-Aqaba and this action represents the stoning of Satan. Rules to be observed when stoning Jamarat al-Aqaba 1. Saying the intention I am stoning Jamarat al-Aqaba, pillar of Hajj al to seek nearness to the Almighty Allah. 2. The throwing of the stones and hitting the pillars must be done by the pilgrim himself. 3. Seven stones must be thrown, not more or less. 4. The stones should be thrown one after the other and not two or more at a time. 5. If the stone didn't reach or hit the pillar, then it should not be counted as one of the seven required stones. 6. The stone must be thrown by hand. 7. The throwing of stones must be carried out between sunrise and sunset. Please note, in this act, the pilgrim stones only one jamara, one pillar, which is Jamarat al-Aqaba. Act 5. The slaughter of a sacrificial animal. This is the fifth obligatory act of Hajj al Rules to be observed in doing this act. 1. Saying the intention. I am making this sacrifice in fulfillment for Hajj al to seek nearness to the Almighty Allah. 2. The sacrifice should be offered during the day of Eid al-Adha. 3. It is obligatory for the offering to be made in Mina. 4. It is obligatory that the animal to be sacrificed is an animal such as a sheep, a camel or a cow. If the pilgrim chooses a sheep, it should have completed the 7th month and entered the 8th. If a pilgrim chooses a camel, it must have completed the age of 5 years and entered the 6th. If a pilgrim chooses a cow, it must have completed 2 years and entered the 3rd. 5. The pilgrim is allowed to appoint someone else as an agent to do the sacrifice on his behalf, even if he is capable of doing it by himself. 6. The animal must be healthy and not disabled, for example without ears or an eye, or be weak or sick. Act 6. Shaving the head in Mina. This is the sixth obligatory act of Hajj Tamatto. It should be delayed until after stoning Jamarat al-Aqaba and the slaughtering. 
Rules to be observed when shaving the head. 1. Men have the option of either shaving the head or having it cut. However, shaving the head is an obligatory precaution. 2. Shaving of the head is not permissible for ladies. Taqseer, cutting, is their obligation. Once shaving has been done, then all the restrictions placed on the pilgrim during ihram will be lifted except having sexual relations, use of perfumes, and hunting. Act 7. The Tawaf. This is the seventh obligatory act of Hajj Tamattu. After the pilgrim completes the rituals at Mina, the pilgrim has to move to Makkah to fulfill this obligatory act of Tawaf. Rules to be observed when performing Tawaf. 1. Perform wudu and ensure your body and clothes are free from impurity. 2. Saying the intention. I am doing Tawaf around the house of Allah seven times for Hajj Tamattu to seek nearness to the Almighty Allah. 3. Keep the Kaaba to your left during the entire Tawaf and start going seven times around the Holy Kaaba, beginning from the Black Stone, known as Hajjara Aswad, and ending at the Black Stone. 4. Perform the Tawaf outside Hijra Ismail wall. 5. The seven times must follow each other without considerable interruption between them. 6. Pushing and hurting other pilgrims is not permitted. The Tawaf must be performed by the free movement of the pilgrim. Act 8. The Tawaf Salat. This is the 8th obligatory act of Hajj Tamattu. Once the pilgrim has done the Tawaf, he should go towards Maqam Ibrahim salam, to do Salat. The Salat of the Tawaf is 2 rakats. Rules to be observed when performing the Tawaf Salat. 1. Saying the intention. I am doing the Tawaf Salat for Hajj Tamattu to seek nearness to the Almighty Allah. 2. The place of Salat. It is necessary to do the Tawaf Salat as close as possible behind Maqam Ibrahim. Act 9. Sa'i. Sa'i is the ninth obligatory act of Hajj Tamattu. It consists seven times of walking between the two mountains of Safa and Marwa. Rules to be observed when performing Sa'i. 1. The intention. By saying, I am doing Sa'i between Safa and Marwa seven times for Hajj Tamattu, to seek nearness to the Almighty Allah. 2. Start walking from Safa towards Marwa. 3. While walking towards Marwa, it is necessary to keep the body facing towards Marwa just as it is necessary to face towards Safa while returning to it from Marwa. 4. One should not leave a considerable time gap between the rounds of Sa'i. After completing Sa'i, all the restrictions placed on the pilgrim by wearing the ihram of Hajj Tamattu will be lifted except having sexual relations and hunting. Act 10. Tawafun Nisa. This is the 10th obligatory act of Hajj Tamattu. It is obligatory on both males and females. If a man or a woman fail to perform it, his wife or her husband become unlawful for him and her. Rules to be observed when performing Tawafun Nisa. 1. Perform wudu and ensure your body and clothes are free from impurity. 2. Saying the intention. I am doing Tawafun Nisa around the house of Allah seven times for Hajj Tamattu to seek nearness to the Almighty Allah. 3. Keep the Kaaba to your left during the entire Tawaf and start going seven times around the Holy Kaaba, beginning from the Black Stone, known as Hajjara Aswad, and ending at the Black Stone. 4. Perform the Tawaf outside Hijra Ismail wall. 5. The seven times must follow each other without considerable interruption between them. 6. Pushing and hurting other pilgrims is not permitted. The Tawaf must be performed by the free movement of the pilgrim. Act 11. The Salat at Tawaf al Nisa. This is the 11th obligatory act of Hajj Tamattu. After performing Tawaf al Nisa, the pilgrim proceeds to do Salah of Tawaf al Nisa, which is two rakat. Rules to be observed when doing Salat at Tawaf al Nisa. 1. The intention by saying, I am doing two rakats of Salat at Tawaf al Nisa for Hajj Tamattu to seek nearness to the Almighty Allah. 2. The place of Salat. It is necessary to do Salat at Tawaf al Nisa as close as possible behind Maqam Ibrahim. Once the pilgrim has done Tawaf al Nisa and its Salat, then relations become permissible between husband and wife. Act 12 Waquf in Mina. This is the 12th obligatory act of Hajj Tamattu. After having completed the Salat at Tawaf al Nisa, the pilgrim has to spend the nights of the 11th and the 12th of Dhul Hijjah in Mina. Rules to be observed when staying in Mina 1. Saying the intention. 
I am spending the night in Mina for fulfillment for Hajjat Tamattu to seek nearness to the Almighty Allah. 2. To remain in Mina from the beginning of the night till a little after midnight or from a little bit before midnight till dawn. The pilgrim just needs to stay just long enough to perform stoning of the three Jamarat, pillars. Act 13. Stoning all three Jamarat, pillars. This is the 13th and final obligatory act of Hajjat Tamattu. In Mina, the pilgrim has to stone all three pillars. The first, Ula, middle, Wusta, and last, Aqaba, on the day of the 11th and the 12th of Dhul Hijjah. Rules to be observed when stoning the pillars. 1. Saying the intention. I am stoning the first, Ula, pillar, for Hajjat Tamattu to seek nearness to the Almighty Allah. Note. The intention for the second and the third pillars should also be done in the same way. 2. The rules of stoning all three Jamarat pillars are similar to the rules of stoning Jamarat al-Aqaba in Act 4. Once the pilgrim completes these rituals, insha'Allah, the Hajj comes to an end and the pilgrim returns home like a newborn who is free of sins.